Welcome to our All Souls service, a service held on a special day set apart by the Church to pray for our loved ones who have died. As we remember them, we pray and give thanks for their lives, because although they are no longer physically with us, their influence upon us continues to enrich and nourish our own lives. As the light of the coming days shortens and the dark of night lengthens and when life at this moment can keep us apart from family and friends, how good it is that we can come together in this very unique way to comfort one another in our grief. Honour those we treasure and hold precious but are no longer here and together look forward with the hope of brighter times to come. Let us pray. God of time and space, in your hands you hold all that you have made. You breathe life into all creation. As we draw near to remember those we have loved, help us to believe that none are forgotten by you and grant us the comfort of your peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Sins and creeds.
A reading from Matthew chapter 5 verses 1 to 12. Now when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him, and he began to teach them. He said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today is our All Souls service, a moment to remember with fondness and thankfulness and to pray for our loved ones whom we have lost. When a loved one dies, we feel the pain of separation from them. Nothing and no one can take the place that our loved one occupied and we miss them desperately. We all respond to the shock of losing a loved ones in different ways but there comes a moment when we can begin to look back on their life and we realise that we are so grateful for the memories. We can even laugh as we recall the funny times we had together and all those special moments that influenced us. We know we are who we are because of those who have gone before us and left their mark on us. There are moments that remind us of our loved one. I can't eat honey without thinking of my granddad Joe, because when I went to stay with him as a child, he would give me a spoonful of honey every morning as medicine. And so, in this sense, our loved ones are not lost, but continue to be very present to us. And in our Christian hope, there is another way in which our loved ones are not lost. In today's reading, Jesus saw the crowds and went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak, and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the gentle, the peacemakers, those treated unfairly. Nine sentences beginning, Blessed are which have given this well-known Bible passage the name Beatitudes. They come in chapter 5 of Matthew's Gospel, and in the previous chapters Matthew has established that Jesus is Emmanuel, God with us. So today's passage is the first time we see the teachings of God with us. God with us, whose first words pronounce a blessing. And who are the blessed ones, the powerful those who have got life sorted? No. It's a blessing on those who are going through the most difficult and challenging human experiences. Those moments when life is so tough, we reach breaking points. Those moments of hopelessness when we realise we can't rely on our own resources. We need help. Help from something, someone outside of ourselves. There 
is where God shows up in our brokenness, pain and suffering. There is no situation, no human emotion or experience that is outside the presence of God who is in us and walks through life with us. Jesus begins his ministry with these words and then matches his words with his actions, befriending those in society that others kept at a social distance, dying the death of a criminal though he did nothing wrong, being the first to rise from the dead and the one through whom those who follow will rise. Nothing can separate us from the love of God, not even death. As we remember our loved ones today, we feel the pain of loss and are thankful for their lives, confident that they are not lost to God. As we remember our loved ones today, we commit them to the safety of God who is love, looking forward in hopeful anticipation to the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. And now, in the stillness of our homes, and in the faith of Christ, who died and rose again to save us, we remember before God and commend into his loving hands those we love but see no longer. Alan Freeman Spencer Smith Anne Johnson Betty and Bill Nicholson Tegan Hudson Jeffrey Alfred Deeg, Sandra Clifford, Betty Smart, Dennis Miller. Elena Grace Betts. John Lloyd Ian Brienton Richard Chesman Emma Taylor Karen Elizabeth Adams George Lurie Sheila Jane Chapman Eric John Sharp, Anna and Harold Stahl, Sue Edmonds, Alice Nixon, Jane Beckers. Sheila Mary Davis. Thomas John Davis Ned Winch Ivy Winch Derek Winch Jack Nicol Doris Noble Charles Noble Beatrice Wood Wilfred Wood Wendy Wood 
Brian George Mason. Jeff and Audrey Lowe. Susanna Yates. David Lennon. Robert and Margaret Ward. Tony and Anne Judge. Horace and Eileen Chapman. Harold and Kath Fieldsend. Philippe Guion. Gareth John Morgan. Raymond James Brisbane. Eileen May Brisbane. Ernest James Richardson, Margaret Alice Richardson. Reg Wilkinson, Louis Strange, Stephen Doyle, Annie Doyle, Kevin Munro, Greg Ross, Brian Nola, Jules King, Fred and Betty Dobbs, Ken and Ida Dobbs, Pat Bescoby, Betty Garlic, Mary Hollis. Philip Mansa. Marjorie Williamson, Sally Gaddis, Lynn and Fritzis Evans, Marion Charlesworth, Raymond Charlesworth. Michael Mills, Wynn Heath, Alan Heath, Jeffrey Robert Young, Joan Simpson, Let us pray. The eternal God is your dwelling place and underneath are the everlasting arms. Blessed is the Lord, our strength and our salvation. Amen. On this day, we are called to remember those who have died, particularly those who have died this past year, to pray for God's presence and to thank God for our future. So let's pray. Lord, in these dark and difficult times, grant us grace to seek your face with undiminished love, 
replenish our reserves for the road has been hard. Surprise us in the coming days with glimpses of your goodness, hints of your holiness and songs of hope in this lonely land. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, my soul thirsts for you. Every part of me longs for you in this time of memory. I pray for those whose faith, whose relationship with you has been shaken by grief, fear or something else. Reveal yourself to them today. Speak words of hope, bring them comfort and renew their strength. We ask you, Lord, to draw close to all those who have been overwhelmed with sorrow, those who have felt paralysed by the deep, dark ache of loss and isolation. Comfort them and care for them, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O Lord, as we remember the loves of our lives, how they enriched our lives, we realise that this too is gift, an aspect of your resurrection. But sometimes this remembering Lord is hard. But nevertheless we're grateful that you accept us where we are right now. Lord, we reach out and call on you on behalf of the fallen. Walk with them as they enter your rest. We pray for the lost, for victims of violence and war, for migrants drowned at sea, for those who have died of hunger and those who have died from diseases, all diseases, including COVID-19 for those who have died in a land not their own, and for victims of emergencies and calamities. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O Lord, we bring before you the changes that have made following and worshipping you more difficult this year the sadness we felt when we haven't been able to gather in person within our church community, the frustration when new rhythms and demands have interrupted our daily time with you, the feeling of distance from friends. Help us to follow you in this new and strange land. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Lord, today we are grateful for the promise found in the Psalms that like a shepherd you will lead us beside still waters and there you will restore us. That you promise to guide us and to be with us and to comfort us even when the path leads through death's dark valley. For you raised your Son from the dead, that all may share in his joyful resurrection. O oh Lord, help us to live this week to the full, being true to you in every way. Help us to give ourselves away to others, being kind to everyone we meet. Help us to love the lost, proclaim Christ in all that we do and say. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And we pray the Collect. God of holiness, your glory is proclaimed in every age. As we rejoice in the faith of your saints, inspire us to follow their example with boldness and joy. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And our benefice prayer. Ever-living, ever-loving God, we thank you for our church family and your world that we serve. Grant that we may honour you in our prayer and praise. Share the good news of your love and build up all through loving service. Help us to give everyone a place to belong and a way to follow Jesus. Amen. And joining together we say and pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us our daily de today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Before we come to the end of this service, I would like to take the opportunity to invite you to come along to St Mary's Church in Welton tomorrow, the 2nd of November, between 2pm and 6pm, when you will be able to light a candle in memory of your loved one. If you do wish to visit, for your safety, please remember to bring your face covering to wear in the church, where stewards will be present to guide you. We will also be holding, via YouTube, an online remembrance service on Sunday the 8th of November, starting at 10.45. Again, you are warmly invited to view this. And now our closing prayer. May Christ shine in our darkness. May he encourage us in our loss. May he grant us faith and grace for the times ahead. Amen. Go in peace and may the God of all peace go with you.
By your blood. 